I love seeing the progress that the students make, you know. Uh, we, the workshop is a way to kind of motivate them to find their skill. Uh, and I find uh, woodworking to be that. And as long as we teach them safely, correctly, the student will then take off on his own pretty much. Nice and easy. See, nice little. All you're doing is guiding, okay? All you're doing is guiding. You don't have to move a whole lot, but you know, just grab, put both of your hands, put the, use the front knob. When we have new students, uh, they have to work through the ba basic safety, uh, introduction, introduction to hand tools, and introduction to power tools. So what I ask them to do is to complete all those three in order for them to step into the shop. And then once they're in the shop, we start working on their skills. I start teaching them how to use the hand tools the power tools, and we go through several several tools where they can perform their cuts or their, you know, whatever it needs to be performed. Okay, so which one? That, correct? Is it done? Or is it done? Glad you let me know. Uh, I will find something to do. 42? Look 42. Oh, Once you get it all traced, then we're going to cut it. Through the years, in my 30 years, I've, there's some young men, well not young men anymore, I'm sure they're men uh, with families, but they have found employment. Uh, some of them even own their own companies uh, doing their, you know, and, and it's something that, that they, they, well it started right here with us, learned how to use the hand tools, learned to use the power tools, and maybe getting work ethics, you know. Uh, employable skills, you know, the soft skill, skills that we always, always talk about, you know, like getting along with others, you know, the, the yes ma'am, yes sir, you know, instead of, you know, the politeness, the respect. So we work also on all of that too right here. So a few of them go on to become carpenters. Carpenters or even, uh, I have one young man in Dallas that, that left us a few years ago already, but he owns his own company installing hardwood floors. Mm -hmm. And he employs about a dozen people for him already. Oh, that's and, and some of those uh, employees are employees, uh, kids that have been here in the system. So we kind of keep in touch, keep in touch, you know, and he kind of lets me know how he's doing over there. He's, he has his own family and uh, so, and he's doing real well. And, and those are the stories that I try to use to encourage the kids that they, they can also do it. So, but it all starts somewhere and maybe it will start right here. But what I'd like for you guys to, to keep in mind is the terminology, the terms that we use in it, you know, the vocabulary that we use. Your joist header, floor joist, subfloor, you know, uh, wall framing. We're going to build the walls actually like, like that, you know, like as if you were using a, as if you were building a home. We're going we're gonna to use the, the sole plate, studs, top plate, and, and well, this one we may go ahead and do a what we call a shed roof, which is just a, a flat roof.